Hello there everyone, it's me Wokey and I'm back with another fake Grand Order today. Another fake Grand Order today, another fake Grand Order video today. Mainly because when I was doing my last um, fate video with Ushi over here, I did actually have some newer people kind of curious about what to do. So I'm going to do a very mini guide video. Um, I still have to go through it myself, but because this is fake Grand Order and it's two years in advance, there are plenty of already useful guides. There's plenty of good guides now. So I'm going to give you a very brief kind of overview about what you want to be doing and what you can be doing and some tips that I also specifically got from other guides. Um, so of course, before I start anything, because I am literally taking a lot of this info, could not be possible if it were not for the work of a lot of other hardworking people. I have the full guides that I used for reference specifically in this video right there in the comment, not in the comments, the, um, uh... The little box thingy, I forget the name of it, you know what I'm talking about. You can look in there and you can see a full detailed overview. It has, it goes way more in depth than what I'm going to be offering in this video and I suggest you actually look at those and, you know, figure out a way to support that person in some way because they definitely uh, did the hard work and now I'm just helping out people here. Alright, so first things first, let's go in here. The first question I got was, is it possible for a new player to actually get uh, Berserker Gene here? And the answer is yes it is. The This event is extremely grindy. There is no doubt in my mind that this is probably one of the most grindy summer units. <laughs> Shut up. One of the most grindy events ever and that's because of one reason only is because it there are three um, points ladders. Usually there's only one or in the case of Guda Guda 2 only two. There's three and both of them go to one million points. If you want to get absolutely everything you will have to get a million in every single one of them. Uh, but to actually finish the story, you don't need a million points. You actually need around 800,000 points, I believe is the total number for there at the end. And that is combined between all three of them. So you don't actually need the full uh, point total for absolutely everything. Um, for just Jean Alter herself, you don't have to go deep. If you want to get absolutely everything though, it's going to take a while. It's going to take an extreme amount of time. Um, but to actually, uh, again, to get Jean, you don't need any of that. To unlock the raids that come in part two, you only need to finish the main story beat. So what is the main story beat? So this is the basic loop of what this event is. As you see right here, it, it functions on a seven day cycle. And at the end of the seven days, you loop. So you see right in here, I'm um, on day one. And six days remain until Servant Fest, and once it hits Servant Fest, then we loop and we start over from again. What makes time go forward? Because as you can see here, it's broken down into, I believe, four parts. It is um, the early morning, and then it's current day, evening, and then night. And on certain times of the day, main quests will open up, and then you can do them. If you, re if you have the right set amount of points, you'll be able to actually do them. So let me see if I have any that can be seen here. So as you can see here, see you have to be on the seventh day and unlock with 75,000 technique points, uh, or in this case, 150,000 motivation and 150,000 technique points in day seven. And you get what I'm saying here. You see what I mean? Um, if you don't actually reach the amount, like if you reach the day, because not all, like not all these quests will be uh, available at whatever time. Uh, if you don't have enough points by the day you reach it, because some of them will be locked to specific days if you don't make it on time, um, then don't worry about it. Just wait till the end of Servant Fest because your point, uh, your point total carries. Loop, and then keep going until you have the right amount of points. And then once you have the right amount of points, play the quest, and boom, you're done here. Um, now, in terms of actual grinding, because you'll want to get... The maximum amount of motivation, technique, and imagination. The first thing that is suggested that you do is immediately find the right stages and grind out three, three cur these three currencies right here. Um, Watershine. Wait, I think. Are you not going to show me what Watershine does? Watershine, Painting Summer, and Foxy Lady. Foxy Lady gives imagination. Painting Summer gives technique. And Watershine, I believe, gives motivation. Uh, the three best places to grind out um, these points, and this is taken directly from the guide, so let me just quickly find them. Um, the ideal locations for farming points while grinding 
grind currency will be uh, Cucalano for Dojin Imagination, Orange, and Gill Bills. Uh, so this one right here. This will drop both um, uh, Dojin Imagination and Gill Bills, which you will then use Gill Bills <laughs> on Foxy Lady here. See, so and that's the CE that specifically helps boost um, uh, imagination. So that's why it's good to farm there to get it there. The sandbar, which will give you um, Dojin Motivation Red and BB Bills. And then you have Waikiki Beach, which gives Dojin Techniques Blue and Fluffy Bills. So where's Waikiki Beach? There it is. This one right here. Uh, that will give you Technique Blue and Fluffy Bills, as stated previously. So, um, yeah, and you basically, what you want to do is that you want to focus on one point. Because you're just going to run yourself ragged. If you try and grind all three of them at the same time, you're just not going to be as efficient if you're actually just doing one of them at a time. So pick one of these. It doesn't matter which one. Um, it would probably be best to start with Technique, just because the CE for Technique has a 30% NP. And you want to be using as much... Um, points as possible for your team. So let me go in here real quick. Um, go in here and then show you how your team kind of looks. Uh, so here's the thing about... I'm just going to click them for now just to show off. So the way you increase points is that actual servants with a servant bonus give a certain amount of points. So as you can see here, Summer Ushi gives 20% to imagination, motivation, and technique. Um, for the actual list of characters and their motivations, you can see here the event bonus. So the rule of thumb is um, the new the new Gene Alter, she gives 30%. Um, the new 5, which is Summer Gene, Archer, she gives 30%. And then the old one that is... Um, not the old one. The one that's coming in Part 2, BB, also gives 30%. Uh, the other units that give 20% are, I believe, is Ushi. She gives 20. Obviously, I just showed it. Robin gives 20. He gives 20%. You can see right here. Um, Gil has to give 20%. Yeah, he gives 20%. Um, Gil, Ibaraki, all the new summer units that came in the banner, and all the men that are in the raid up for the man banner. So that is Robin, Gil, and Dantes. So that means Summer Ushi, Summer Ibaraki, Summer Mysterious Hero and X, and Summer Meb. Maeve, when she comes out, uh, will give 20%. And every other summer unit gives 10%. Um, and if you're not using any of the units here in event bonus, then you are getting zero. Also, Mash is 20%. I forgot about Mash, sorry. She gives 20%. Um. So then you want to make sure your team, for maximum point efficiency, has has as much of these CEs as you can carry. Because the more of these that you have, the better. Um, also, usually for craft essences, in order to get the final copy of it, you have to... Um, Usually, depending on the event, they ask you to actually find it and grind it, but not for this, not in the case of this one. As you can see here, you actually get more of them by going through the um, by going through the uh, the point ladder, but you don't get the last one till I think. Let me see. It shouldn't be around. Maybe f not four hundred thousand. I think it's around eight hundred thousand actually. You get the last copy. You get the last copy at eight hundred thousand actually. All right. So you get it at 800,000. Um, so that's basically that. That's kind of that. If you're following along with this. By the way, if you have any questions, feel free to um, ask me. Chances are when I release this video, I will be asleep. But the second I wake up, I will gladly answer your questions. Just wait a bit. Um, it's okay. 800,000. 1 million. So you won't get the final CE copy till you're close to the end here. So don't worry about it. Um... So when should you actually stop um, grinding at one of these? Well, the answer is you should try and get these to 400,000. So the final quest for summer will just require 800,000 points. So in theory, you could just grind technique to 800,000, but that's actually not what you want to do. Uh, because a lot of the grind um, essences require multiples of certain techniques, like the ones you saw, some of them require 150,000 of a certain technique, and the other one requires 150,000 of another technique. Um, it's suggested that you actually get them to 400,000, and then move on to the next one. So once you hit 400,000 points, move on to the next one, 
move on to the next one, and chances are, by the time you hit 400,000 and two of them, you'll be able to, I think, finish the main story. But then you'll want to get the other things because there's a lot of, like, summer um, outfits, stuff like that. Really good stuff that would actually be kind of useful and fun to have. And because the event is kind of limited, there's no sense of it ever coming back anytime soon. So it's now or never for these kind of events. Um, So that's kind of what you want to do. And then once the story is done and you have your gene altar and you're just basically cleaning up everything you have... um, you don't have to worry about anything because the part two was raiding stuff and that's a solo raid so you just have to deal a certain amount of, that's something that you don't have to worry about now that's coming in part two that's how you get gene alter copies um as you can see here um the point ladder itself gives you material to actually ascension gene alter and then here you can get 200 of these like uh is this bb bucks yeah it's bb money you can get 200 bb money to get the final quill uh information yeah so uh, that's the events basically in a nutshell you want to grind loop to day seven if you don't have enough points for a certain quest keep grinding it out and then once you actually reach the loop you should be able to finish if you're a brand new player um and you're wondering should i be doing this or story the answer is do this because this is limited and there's a lot of good material here um like, for example, the shop. Like, I haven't really talked about the shop, but there's plenty of good things in the shop. You don't really start um, dealing with the shop until you have around 800 points, in 800,000 points in the other um, categories where you get the final CE and you can just kind of put one craft essence boost and not have to worry about anything. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's this event. It's extremely long. It can seem kind of complicated, but it's actually not very complicated. Um... Again, if you want a full, and here's me just saying, like, you can basically do any of these if you want. If you want a specific guide of, like, do this, do this, do that, check out the guide that I've left in the description. That's what it's called. That's what that thingy is called. It's called a description. Look at the thing in the description, and that will give you, like, a literal, like, breakdown day by day. On this day, do this. On this day, do that. You'll fight this. You'll do that. Uh, if you want that kind of guide, then that's going to be there. But for if you just want to experience this event with knowing, like, how am I going to actually finish it? That's how you actually finish it. Um, yeah, and don't feel bad about just looping, man. That's literally just the event. Just <laughs> just kind of play the event. Once you have 400,000 on each one, switch to another one. And then keep going until it's done or you're done. Whichever one. Hey. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't... I hope it helped in some way. If it did, remember to leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I do a lot of fake Grand Order stuff now. Um, that's basic. And Dragalia stuff. I do Dragalia stuff. I play Magic the Gathering with Vio. I do a lot of weird, dumb stuff that YouTube actually hurts me for doing. But I do them anyway because I think they're fun. So that's this event. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll s- happy good luck. Happy good luck. Happy grinding and good luck out there. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.